Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to talk about the three major mistakes we make when we water our tomato plants and also the signs of overwatering. I will show you how I water my tomato plants in my extreme Arizona heat. Lastly, I will show you how I water my container plants. So one of the signs of overwatering your plants is cracks on the fruit. I don't have any cracks on my plants, so I cannot show you the cracks, but I'm sure you know what they look like. However, the number two sign of overwatering is the curling of the leaves. And I am going to zoom out so I can show you how I did overwater my plants and how my leaves got all curly. As you can see over here, the leaves are curling out and that happened to every single leaf on my tomato plants because a few days ago when it got really hot and I got worried about them I guess I overwatered them I didn't mean to but I did and um, there is nothing I can do about it I'm just gonna let it be for a while I'm gonna give them some water tonight but not too much and it will eventually they will eventually come back to normal but I guess I'm glad my tomatoes are not bigger so maybe that's why they're not cracking the second mistake is letting the water run too hard in the soil and this is when soil splashes up and gets in the leaves and it causes disease. I haven't made this mistake yet because I'm very careful. However, the third mistake is splashing water on your plant and the leaves. Uh, I just squeezed the holes uh, before I had it uh, down below and it splashed just a little bit of water and it was cold water, it wasn't even the warm water but it splashed some and you see all the burn spots in the leaves and normally I would clip those leaves off and get rid of them however they still provide very nice shade for uh, my uh, raised bed garden and they still keep the soil cool so first of all as always I let the water run out of the hose for about I would say a minute and a half until I got this is how hot it is here until I got cool water and uh, this is how I water them so I would place I put the hose in a very low setting so it's not splashing and then very carefully I would go underneath each plant and just water around it and like this I would just go from plant to plant and I will do exactly the same thing with my pepper plants so I'm done watering my uh, raised bed garden and I would normally wait until after 7 o'clock at night and then water when the soil cools down a lot of people water in the morning I don't know why but I've been doing it at night ever since I planted these tomatoes and uh, they're doing just fine now but keep in mind that this raised bed garden only gets sun from about 7 30 in the morning until about one o'clock in the afternoon so i have six hours where the sun has been on the other side of the house and not blasting at the raised bed garden so the soil is much cooler so if your plants are on the sun all the time you probably have to water them in the morning but I don't know if there is a right way and wrong way, but uh, this way it's working for me and has been working for my family for decades. And as far as watering your container plants, the first thing I do is I would touch the container to see how hot it is. And these cucumbers, they have been away from the sun for a good uh, six hours now. So it is safe to water them. I do water them every night just a little bit because cucumbers like water, but that applies for tomatoes too. Um, if you have your plants in dark containers or any containers, if the container is still hot, don't water them because that's going to start boiling the water. Well, not boiling, but it's going to get it pretty hot. And what I do is just gently pour around and try not to splash in the leaves because cucumbers tend to get powdery mildew. So for two cucumber plants over here, this is about how much water I pour. And here are my beans that I transplanted back, uh, I believe it was May 27th, today is June 7th, and uh, they're doing very well. And the same principle, I try, I do my best not to get the leaves wet because they will get powdery mildew. And I just pour water around the perimeter of the container. This way I'm encouraging the roots to grow outwards and these two jalapeno peppers I watered last night they're in a container it's a really good potting soil I got it from Home Depot it's a Kellogg patio plus but I watered them last night and uh, clearly the soil is still wet so they don't need any more water and the reason it's still wet is because they don't stay in the sun they stay on my patio but uh, they're not getting any water so always check the soil and not, don't just check the top layer of the soil 
dig your finger a little bit inside and see what's going on in there. Because again, we tend to overwater, not underwater in most cases. So I much rather hand water my plants because this way I get to spend time with them. One of the things you should uh, remember out of this video is that in hot places like Arizona, you should always let the water run because it does get very hot in the hose and you're basically going to boil the roots of your plant. And as far as container plants, always remember to pull them away from the sun for at least three or four hours before you water them. And a lot of people choose drip irrigation and I do have it all over the backyard and all sides of the house and it waters my desert plants. However, I prefer to water everything myself. This way I get to spend time with my plants and see how they're doing and what is going on with them. And if you find this episode helpful, please click the thumbs up below this video. And if this is your first time visiting my channel and you would like to see more videos about old school organic gardening, healthy recipes and more, please click on the subscribe button below. Thank you so much for watching guys. And until next time, happy gardening.